This video is to help anybody with the problem installing Windows 10 until 2010, 2011 iMac, or any iMac or any MacBook with um, black screen after the boot camp installation of Windows 10. I ran into this problem just recently and I've been working or researching for about a week right now to find a solution to it and finally did find a solution to it. Um, I read online one time, I mean, I read online and the solution was to delete this file from the, um, from the Windows, from the Windows partition drive. Um, so to do that, you, you will need a program called um, you will need this program. You will need this program called Paragon NTF. Paragon NTFS for Mac 15. Um, once you have that, you're good to go. So from there, when you run the program, first of all, you have to run it. So open the application. Now you're going to see your NTFS volume, which is the Windows um, partition. Um, initially, it will not be mounted because it will say it's hibernated. So you're going to mount it. And there will be a mount icon right here. When you click on that, it's probably not going to work. So, for instance, I'm going to just do that here. See this processing? It will do that and it will not mount it and then from there you will see on the right hand side the notification icon will come and you'll you'll see something saying learn more when you click on learn more you're going to force mount it okay right now i can mount and I'll mount easily because i've already done that so when i say mount we're going to be able to mount it and it says green which is good that means you can actually write to it delete thoughts from it whatever you want to do um, and so when you hit on this volume slash untitled whatever the name of your partition is um, you click on it and you go to Windows from Windows we're going to locate Windows 32 I mean I'm sorry system 32 look at system 32 and from system 32 um, we're going to locate drivers. You can search it to be fast or fast. Um, so we click with it, say drivers, and you don't need that. You don't need that one. I mean, this is not here. You're going to have to select that and, you know, search it again. But it's probably not going to do it. So I'm just going to ignore that and just find it from here. So we're going to go look for drivers. Look for the drivers folder, which is right here. And then when you're in here, you're going to look for this file called atikmdag.sys. So you're going to look for the atkm dag.sys you're going to look for this folder in here and all you're going to do is just delete it delete this folder I mean this file from that folder and once you delete it you should be good to go once you delete it you're not going to have the free screen or your, your black screen everything is going to be good after you, you install the Windows 10 on the iMac and also um, you want to install Windows 8 and then you want to upgrade from there because when you install Windows 8 the display drivers will be the, the Microsoft the basic display drivers that's what you're going to need to run on Windows 10 you're not going to use the, um, the one that comes with the, the iMac um, I don't know why we have to go through that but it just sucks you know it's just it's crazy that they don't support the drivers, which is good. 
Like, the drivers are really good. I don't know why they don't support it. Like, no. You're supposed to support it. If you support it in Windows, uh, Windows 7, you should be able to support it in Windows 10. They make this upgrade and they mess things up for no reason. You know? Yeah. So, enough said. Um, all you have to do is to delete this file. Delete this file and you should be able to get your screen back and everything should be fine. Um, I hope this video helps. If you have any comments, if you have any questions, if you want me to make a video to show you how to install um, Windows 10 onto this, um, just leave a comment below and I will just do that. I will show you exactly how to go about installing Windows 8 and then upgrading to Windows 10 um, and fixing your black screen. Um, this is just to show what to delete to get the screen back if you have that problem after installing Windows 10 onto the 2010 iMac. As you can see right here, this is the 2010, the mid-2010 iMac running the Mac OS era. You know, right there, Mac OS 10.12.6. And this comes with a, this is a Bootcamp 6. And you don't want to use the drivers um, from the Bootcamp 6. You want to download the Bootcamp 5 drivers from the, um, the Apple website. Um, and then um, after you boot into your, your computer, your sound might not even work. So you're gonna use that drivers from the Bootcamp 5 to get your sound back. I think that's all you're gonna need. Um, everything does work. The camera works. Um, everything works basically. Um, the only thing that was not working for me was my sound. Um, and I installed the drivers from the Bootcamp 5 and it worked perfectly because I tried to install it from the Bootcamp 6 and it didn't work. It would not even load. You know? Yeah. So this is it. Um, that's all you have to do. You don't have to do anything else. Just get rid of this file from the drivers folder using Paragon and you should be good to go. And this drivers folder is under system 32. That's all you need. And yeah, so good luck and um, enjoy because uh, hopefully they can actually fix this problem, you know, of supporting this graphics card in the iMac. All right, thank you and um, enjoy. Leave comments below. Hope this video helps you.